Be a good teammate. A strong group accomplishes more than any individual. Listen to what others have to say and take time to get to know other people. Look to surround yourself with people who have positive character and make you better. Be a good, loyal friend. Live with manners for the rest of your life. Always say please and thank you and hold doors and greet people as much as possible. These small things are actually big things and they will help you along the way. The last one is a quote from Ernest Hemingway. Before you act, listen. Before you react, think. Before you spend, earn. Before you criticize, wait. Before you quit, try. Over the last nine months I've spent with you, here's what I've observed from this fifth grade class. They are great leaders and examples for our younger students. Always ready to give things a try. Absolutely positive competitors. Enthusiastic about service and giving. A caring group that looks out for one another and supports one another. I've seen you do things even as recent as today that make me more proud than you can imagine and make me remember why I have the greatest job in the world. They are welcoming and supportive of one another and this is what I am most proud of. Lastly, this group is an artistic, creative, and witty group with more talent than I can quantify. Students, you are the best we are proud of you, and we will miss you. <laughs> Students and guests, enjoy our ceremony. Thank you.
but I know we'll always have the support from the Lipa Blood family. Congratulations to all the fifth grade students. Thank you. Thank you. 
take a picture of there? Oh no, it's when he comes over. Oh yeah, you can just walk in front. It's not that good. Well, somebody okay. cuts it off. Thanks for asking.
So in that light, I would like to ask 5B to please stand to be recognized for the motion. Thank you. 
celebrate your journey from Maple Glen to Sandy Run. I know I speak on behalf of all of your teachers when I say again that we are still very proud of you. When we hear you on the announcements, we remember how shy you were to speak in front of your class in morning meeting, and now we delight in your confidence. When you give freely of your time to be a reading buddy, help younger students learn their math facts, or work to beautify our school, we are humbled by your generosity. And perhaps the most joyful occasion is when you stop by to simply say hello. As you move on to middle school, please keep in mind that teachers know everybody. We do. And we will continue to check up on you, ask your teachers how you're doing, and of course, constantly invite you back to visit us. We are always here for you, cheering you on, and celebrating your success. You have grown into exceptional young adults, and we know that you will continue to make us proud. So remember that while you may leave our classrooms, you will never leave our hearts. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I see Katie.
you academically, as a person, and even in life. It all started in kindergarten with Ms. Wonder. I remember, I remember walking into class the first day, nervous, and without my parents protecting me from whatever my was. I was greeted with a warm welcome from my teacher and principal, and I could tell that the next six years at MDS were going to be special. During my kindergarten year, I learned how to walk color and what it means to be a good friend. Throughout the next five years, I had some great memories, such as field trips, field days, and games. We took trips to the Friendly Institute, the Philadelphia Zoo, and the Baltimore Harbor. But what has impressed me the most now carry with me wherever I go is the kindness and caring of the teachers and staff here at Maple Lunch. Whether it's taking extra time to explain a difficult math problem, giving the class a much needed pep talk in Mr. Stanton so many times over the Throwing in an extra recess when the weather is just too nice to resist, joining in our recess games, giving us class reward treats, Mrs. Schwartz giving her own time and creativity so that we can entertain our families with her unique class plays, hosting our talent shows and special events, and even showing up to cheer for us on, on the sidelines during our after school sports games. I could go on and on. Walking into Mrs. McCarthy's class the first day this year as a fifth grader and thinking back to that first day six years ago as an anxious and uncertain little kid, I could not be more different. Maple Lynn Elementary School has prepared me for whatever tasks I may face in middle school. So back to the question, what does Maple Lynn Elementary School mean to me? It means friends and family, fun and learning, security and familiarity. As I look forward to middle school and beyond, I could not imagine better social and academic starting point. Thank you to all the parents, teachers, and staff for making these years in this day possible. Although we are sad to say goodbye, we are so excited for what lies ahead. Thank you. 
My name is Ryan Gonzalez, and I'm kind of like this one. My name is Madison Eagle, and I only like had to play basketball before. Okay. My name is Cassandra Brown, and I only have to play basketball My name is Ben Gattel, and I only like had to make friends. My name is Brianna Hamill, and I only like had to spread kindness to one another. My name is Gavin Heinrichson, and I know how to, and I've learned how to be kind to everyone and never give up. My name is Madison Lynn, and I learned to never give up. My name is Brandon Altman, and I learned how to use time wisely. My name is Keith Jackson, and I learned how to play the drums. My name is Richie Gisell, and I learned to always keep going and persevering through negative times. My name is Emmanuel Kramer, and I'm going to be confident in everything that I do. My name is Jacob Lessig, and I learned how to add and subtract and multiply the body. My name is Ella Boga, and I learned how to do what I'm asking. My name is Derek Netter, and I learned how to make a friend and friends.
we now welcome Mrs. Hamilton, our school counselor, with final thoughts. Yeah. 
kind of back. When you put gratitude in, you'll get gratitude back. No doubt in middle school at some point, you're going to be challenged to avoid getting involved in other people's drama. You can build good social karma by expressing empathy for someone who was upset. You can say that must have been hard, or I can imagine how you felt when you heard that. Avoid taking sides by saying, I can't believe they did that, or I'm not going to talk to her anymore, let's not hang out with her. When your focus is on empathy and not revenge or retaliation, you keep yourself free from social payback and develop a reputation as trustworthy. Along your journey, make the choice to try hard and believe in positive outcomes. A psychologist from Columbia University did this study, and it included 400 different students, just like you. Each student was given the same puzzle to solve. To half the kids, the psychologist said, you did well, you must be smart. To the other half, she said, you did well, you must have worked hard at this. So then she gave the kids another set of puzzles to work on, but this time they had a choice between an easy puzzle or a puzzle that would challenge them but would teach them something. 90% of the kids who were complimented for working hard chose the challenging puzzle and the opportunity to learn. However, most of the kids who were called smart chose the easy puzzle because they were afraid of taking a challenge and not looking smart. Students, from your teachers to your eventual boss, People will be impressed with commitment to hard work. In middle school, be someone who loves the challenge and the kid who always works hard. But understand, there's a very important balance between working hard and knowing when to rest. So along your journey, sometimes you will need to make a choice and slow down. Being in school can feel like traveling on a highway. If the whole group is going super fast, you can feel like you have to keep up to avoid getting run over. When you find yourself speeding along and feeling out of control, find someone you can slow down with. Sometimes that person is your mom, or dad, or grandparent, or sibling. Find someone you can be yourself with at your own pace until you're ready to join the race again. And finally, along your journey, make this choice. Smile and say hi. When you walk through the door on the first day of school next year, keep your chin up, make eye contact with people, and smile. From the song, A Million Dreams, as you think of what the world could be, a vision of the one you see, a million dreams is all it's going to take. A million dreams for the world you're going to make. Make the choice now that you will set goals to work towards. You will find your why and do things that bring you joy. You will be kind and offer empathy when someone needs it. You will work hard and believe in yourself and positive outcomes. You will slow down when you need to. You will smile and say hi. Your journey through elementary school has taken you from sitting out in the audience just last year as fourth graders to sitting up here as we celebrate you and your promotion. Congratulations, fifth graders. My best wishes are for each and every one of you that you will always remember to make each day a great day or not. Good choice is yours.
Maple Bend School song, so let's do it loud and proud. Thank <laughs> you. 